Welcome back. May is Better Hearing and Speech Month, and today we're learning all about the importance of hearing health care from an expert. Want to welcome in audiologist Dr. Kendall Ramsey. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me, Erica. Of course. Nice all right, to be here. Let's kind of dig into your background. First, explain, you know, what is an audiologist for folks who might not know? Yes, an audiologist is a healthcare professional who diagnoses and treats hearing loss and balance disorders. Okay. And so hearing loss occurs at any age. And so we see everything from little babies straight out of the hospital to adults uh, who are noticing some difficulties. Sure. OK, so why is it so important to raise awareness about Better Hearing and Speech Month? Yes, for a long time, hearing hasn't been treated as a part of a comprehensive health care. And so, you know, you get your eyes screened, you get your teeth screened, cleaned every year. Yeah. You should also know what your hearing is like. Absolutely. And explain the importance of what you guys call hearing health care. That's a term that you guys frequently use. Absolutely. So hearing health care is really seeing if there is any areas that you may be missing. So for babies, they have to hear really well in order to develop a language. Language then develops cognition. Once a baby has that language and they're in school age, we're looking at how people learn things and what research has shown, which any parent can tell you, mm -hmm. is that most children learn through overhearing yeah. conversations. And so if a child is missing some of their hearing or even temporarily missing some of their hearing, they're missing that overhearing learning. Absolutely. And then with adults, uh, kind of jumping ahead, it's very subtle um, hearing loss or missing things with adults, but what research is showing is that it's not really about what you're hearing or not hearing. It's about the fact that once there's hearing loss, there's a part of the brain that isn't being stimulated. Yeah. And that leads to other symptoms uh, such as uh, memory problems, organization problems, yeah. planning. And so really, it can be misdiagnosed with a lot of other things. And so it's important to bring hearing to the top of everyone's minds so that they can maybe um, at least rule out hearing as contributing to other things such as uh, cognitive decline yeah. or balance problems or other things like that. And we're talking about things that can be life-changing. I mean, once you notice and you can kind of diagnose something and then move forward to take the steps to remedy that, I mean, that's a huge deal for folks coming in to see you guys. It is, and I think people who came in just to get a baseline were really surprised by how much of a difference we can make. Yeah. Um, and then we always give the opportunity to try it before you know you're committed to anything and so it's just so important that people are aware of their hearing and that they're taking care of themselves in this area of health care as well. Absolutely. I think you guys do a fantastic job too. I mean, the Hearing and Speech Center, you guys go out into the community, you do screenings with like schools and other community yes. events too, right? We love being in the community. And so we get out there as often as we possibly can. And in fact, tomorrow, um, Thursday, May 11th, we'll be at the Senior Community Center where they're doing health screenings from 9 a.m. till oh, noon. Nice. Yeah, that is such a great thing. Uh, this is the website, and this is also the best place for folks to get some more information, right? Absolutely. The website's great. We have a Facebook and a YouTube account as well if you'd like to follow us there. Um, can people make an appointment directly on the website? Should they call you guys? Either one. Give us a call, and one of our lovely office uh, staff will get you scheduled, or you can request an appointment through the website. Details on the screen there if you guys would like some more information. I want to thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ramsey, for coming in. Very informative information here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Stick around. We've got to look at your headlines right after this.